In the astronomical community, the majority faction says, what's all the fuss about? I mean, it's just a rock from outer space, and it's going to come through our solar system for the first time and then come whizzing back out again. It's the third, third known object from outside our solar system, so what's the fuss? Another faction, however, says, now, wait a minute. Perhaps this is a visitor, an intelligent visitor from another solar system, and perhaps this week we could have a test of it. That's right. This week... It turns out that the asteroid or comet will be whizzing around our sun, and if it picks up extra energy on its flyby, that would clinch it. That means there's extraterrestrial intelligence involved. So watch for it. On October 30th, starting then, we're going to track it to see whether it gets an extra boost of energy. If so, it means we are being visited. Oh, so, okay, if it's not a giant rock, and it could be a sign of life out there, uh, mm, it, something's got to be steering it, right? Uh, that's right. And as it goes around the sun, there's something called the Oberth effect. The Oberth effect says that if you were to whip around the sun, you would pick up extra energy in the process. So we're going to watch for it. The energy in must equal the energy out, according to the ordinary theory. But if that's not true, if there's more energy going out than in, it means that there's energy boost coming from whipping around the sun and that requires intelligence. And so that's one acid test that we can make. Watch for it. Starting this week, we're going to begin to monitor and see whether or not it picks up extra energy as it whips around the sun. So it's Wednesday, right? October 29th. I think it goes the closest point to the sun. Is that right? That's right. That's the perihelion. Okay. And at that point, if it picks up extra energy, that's outside the ordinary bounds of the conservation of energy. So watch for it. As it whips around the sun, if it picks up extra energy, bingo. It means there's intelligent life uh, that is guiding the motion of this object. Uh, this is interesting. I love this stuff. So NASA is launching its Artemis II program in 2026, I think, sending crewed, mis crewed missions around the moon and then landing on the lunar surface. Let me ask you, Professor, when do you think that we might see some permanent bases on the moon? Should we? Do we know everything about the moon already or, or not? Certainly the dark side is different. Um, and what about Mars? You think we'll ever set foot on Mars? Well, that's a wish list of, we, of what we have for NASA. However, it's going to take time.